Hey guys, this is Kyle with Draw Attention, and uh, we're going to do a new uh, tutorial video on how to apply your stickers. Um, so when we first started making these, we had a different type of material, and then we we had learned a little bit more about vinyl and um, found a new material, and now we've found we've kind of landed on one that kind of uh, fits all criteria. Um, so the last vinyl, if you prior orders have noticed that you got a little a sticker you had a little sticker in your um, in your kit that said make sure to test your markers with this material because some uh, markers might not work with it etc and so forth um, so we finally found a material that is works with all types of markers and it works great it's fantastic um, the only drawback was that um, when you apply it if you don't do it very well you can get bubbles underneath which is what the last material kind of helped get rid of um, draw attention. So what I'm going to do is show you a video on how you can um, apply your own, apply your own sticker um, and get as, as little bubbles as possible out of it. So what we're going to do is you can see right here in front of me we have a uh, Microsoft Surface. Um, it's really great. And this is actually a new cut we're doing. Uh, so now you can order it for the Surface and the Surface Pro. Um, and you'll see your sticker comes just like this. So uh, you can see that there's no transfer material, there's nothing else. It's just this little, you know, just this back in here. So what you want to do, there's a number of ways you can do this. Um, and so you'll kind of have to figure out your own. Now, you can use your fingers um, and kind of do the same method. It's not foolproof. Uh, it gets up most of the bubbles, but it's not anything solid. So what we recommend doing is having a stiff card of some kind. So for example, I'm using this little, uh, this little wooden business card actually someone gave me. Um, but, but the point is that it's rigid. Right, so it's rigid and it's rounded and it's kind of smooth. Um, the second thing you're going to use is some kind of cloth. Um, in my case, I'm going to use a sock. Uh, just something that is, is soft and, uh, you know, material, or like, you know, cotton material or something like that. And the reason why is because we're going to uh, use the card to squish out the air bubbles, but we don't want to scratch it. So we're going to wrap it in, in a cloth, something, something that's soft. Um, you can use a number of different things, like I said, but um, I found that this is kind of a, a just one easy way to do it, and it's a household materials that you'll have lying around. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, one end, one end of the sticker, and we're going to fold it back. So you can see that we'll flip it over, and we'll pull off the backing, and you'll see the sticker. And we're just gonna peel it back maybe like a half inch off of the sticker. And then we'll crease it. And we're gonna do that so then we can flip it over and we can still have the backing on the rest so it won't stick. And we can make sure we're lining it up correctly. So this one, I'm going to look at the other sides and kind of even it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take one side and just kind of seal it and just go all the way down and just seal it all the way down. So what we're going to do is I have my sock thing with wooden thing inside and what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, push, use it and push the air this way as we're putting the sticker on. I'm going to lift the paper up and then give me just a little bit sticker and I'm just gonna start pushing. Another case up here so I'm gonna redo this this part.
and if you go a little too fast and you notice bubbles, you can just lift it right back up and just keep going back down. I'm going to do it since I don't have much left. I'm going to take out the rest and use my finger to keep it up. And then we'll just keep going down. So, this is actually looking pretty good. So, let's go ahead and try it out really quick. Uh, this might be upside down, but. Get it right? Hope so. Yep, so that's it. That's all it is to it. Um, so like I said, just find some kind of uh, material. You want to line your sticker up first. Um, find material that's stiff and you know something cotton you can wrap around it um, so you can glide it out. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, and we just released, if you haven't seen, we just released our Blackboard Edition. So you can actually use um, chalk on it. Just to show you guys what this looks like. So this is our new blackboard material. Um, so not only can you use uh, Expo Neon markers, um, but you can also use chalk. So this is actually a piece of chalk. Um, so this will require like a, a wet erase. Um, but it is a kind of unique different thing so you can write you know your favorite craft beers on it or your favorite um you know poems i don't really know but it's it's an interesting material and it's definitely a, a new way to stand out so um yeah so if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to contact us contact form is at drawattention.co and we're happy to answer any of them thanks so much